Hey guys, it's Jack here from Jack Aquatics and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is really most exciting video because I am at a location somewhere in entrance installing a beautiful eight foot reef tank. And as you can see, the location is nice. And the end result of that is that we created a beautiful looking scape and installed it all on site. So this scape you can see it's uh, for a tank which is eight foot by 2.5 foot by 2.5 foot tall and it's a natural scape so the requirements from the customer was they wanted to see something of an open design something natural and also at the same time it should have multiple arch kind of design where fish can pass through it looks really nice and also at the same time it gives a nice hiding spot for the fish especially once the corals are overgrown so you can imagine uh, in this nice arch design the corals will be placed on the top so high points of this cape is around 42 centimeter and we have placed a lot of floating rocks in the front too also uh, what we've done in this video is i will be sharing with you how we took all those six massive pieces and installed it on site uh, i have my very good teammate wally who will be entering in the tank and placing these rocks as i see from the front and we arrange them after that i will go through the process of how i cemented this whole scape to make sure that this will last for many years to come and then at the end we show pretty much the footage of how the, how certain pieces were created so without any further ado let's jump into how we took all the pieces and assembled it on site with the help of wally so it was raining really heavy when we uh, started taking the pieces out but we managed to not to get wet but really nice rainy scene there uh, before we started this job and uh, what you can see here is the empty or a blank canvas sitting there for us to design it's a 8 by 2.5 by 2.5 feet tank and the cabinet is designed by fantasy aquariums or this whole system is designed by fantasy aquariums gosford so if you are looking for something like this you know do hit them and uh, for for the scaping part it was contracted to me so i'm really thankful to them and also you can see on the top of this cabinet there's heaps of space for lighting and a good ventilation so it's designed really well and here you can see i have um, six large pieces of the rocks that i designed that we will be putting it inside the tank uh, you can see here first step is to add the coral sand we use around four bags at the base. I think they are eight kilo bag each, if I'm not wrong. And uh, after, once we have the whole base layer, after that, we will add the first two pieces. As you can see here, we have installed those two pieces. On the right, I have a best mate, Wally, who really is quite fit. He can, he can go into the tank very easily and help me position them. After this, we have added another rock and you can see how the arch is there. So we are moving the pieces, making them very stable as we go. They are very stable uh, by itself. I made sure the pieces are really nice and stable, but because we have a coral sand at the bottom, so we're making sure it's perfect. And as you can see here, we, we are adding the other pieces too. So on the right side, we have three arch designs in total. And at the end, there is another piece to finish off this whole scape. So after this, what we're going to do is we will be adding uh, small floating rocks in the front to first of all, add more detail. And the second thing is that a client, um, you know, our client can kind of put different corals and depending on the requirement, he can easily move it around. But this is the whole basic structure, which is ready. And uh, now next section, I will explain you how I cemented it or show you a bit of footage, how I cemented everything together. So guys, you can see here I'm using e Marco 400 from uh, Marco Rocks and uh, this will be the cement that I mostly use. I also use uh, Echo Forest Stone Fix and this cement comes with um, in a satchel. So once you open a box, it has a satchel. It has a, uh, you know, their own liquid mix, which you add water and it's ready to mix uh, the cement with it. It, uh, it comes everything in that uh, container to mix your cement so what i will do i will slowly add the water to the dry cement and make it like a paste and once it's done do your gloves and protection uh, it's really important because otherwise your hands will really get dry um, and uh, so definitely you know i will recommend that wear protection while you are applying the glue 
or the cement and uh, so here what i'm doing is in those grooves especially at the back you can see there's a lot of space that i was not able to cover using the marker rock powder and super glue yes you can use glue but it will take time so to save on the time marco e cement is best or echo forest cement and uh, you can apply a generous amount like i'm doing here and what you will see in the footage is once i apply it to the whole escape it's really rock solid very stable and i can lift it and easily move it around or like you can see when we are on site we can uh, we can easily uh, place it at certain positions without breaking it so you can see everything is pretty much done and ready to go so this is how i apply the cement for for all of my scape especially at the back so i will show you the complete uh, process of how this scape was put together starting from a couple of pieces to creating the whole new arch uh, so you can go through the whole footage it for a few minutes i will cover that part and i'm showing you how the you know one of the arch design was done and uh, it will show you the complete three different uh, you know smaller pieces that i created uh, i'm not covering the whole five uh, pieces because it's a pretty much same process that i use but one thing i will recommend that make that make sure that the base is really strong especially for the big tanks and you apply a generous amount of jag aquatic instant aquascaping glue with marco rock uh, powder and that will make sure that your you can build structure quickly and it's more stable and after that obviously we're going to apply cement or i do apply cement to make sure that structures stay as it is for years to come so i really hope that you guys had a good insight of the whole process how the big scape is done and how it is installed on site if you guys are looking for any of my services you can contact me at jagaquatics.com or viroaquatics.com which is our retail site you can also comment on any of my videos or on the facebook page there are many different ways you can contact me whether it's for reef or for freshwater scape and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching and you can watch the whole footage and at the end final result again and uh, i will see everyone again in my next installation video till then bye and take care and keep scaping thanks guys